Hey guys and welcome back to another one and as promised here we are with the OS 10 installation on a external SSD which in this particular case is the Thor Jet 500. Now that being said with no further ado let's go straight into it. Hope that you enjoy it and I'll see you in a few seconds. And here we are on the iMac screen and as you can see the specifications here just so you have a little bit of background I've been mentioning this on the past few videos but nonetheless now I'd just like to show you that for this particular video I'll be just using the internal hard drive 5400 rpm and also the storage jet where we are going to install the OS 10 and we will be running out of that for speed purposes as we have been seeing on the past videos. Now this being said one of the things that I would suggest strongly is to make a backup before you do uh, anything so in case of everything will be fine but just in case uh, so we have everything backed up. So there are several ways of doing this installing uh, OS 10 on an external drive one of which is a clean installation and the other one a clone installation and for the clone there are several ways if you search around you'll find uh, lots of them i will show you the way that i prefer and on my opinion the easiest one so that being said let's close uh, this particular screen here and what i'm going to do is start with the clean installation just a small guide how to how you can achieve that and if you already know how to do that, I will post on screen an annotation that will take you to uh, the clone part of this video. So for those that want a clean installation, just stay here. And for those that just want the clone, which is one of the advantage, if your system is running well, uh, you just need a clone to a faster drive as the Storejet 500. So the first step for the clean installation, let's shut down this computer and let's go for it. So once the computer is shut down and sorry that I cannot record <laughs> the screen as is, uh, what we want to do is uh, turn it on and we are going to press the option key so that we can uh, go into the boot, uh, boot screen in this particular case. And right now you can see there on the camera I've got two so the iMac HD and also the recovery and this is the one that we want uh, to choose the recover and press enter this will take a while so as soon as it's ready I will be back okay so we are back once we press that as you could see the recovery option we will have this uh, screen right over here which will give you or give us a few options so we can restore we can reinstall get help and disk utility uh, what we need is to reinstall OS 10 and press continue okay so OS 10 Yosemite Yosemite sorry that I'm pronouncing it badly now continue and yes to download so this will take a while and we will not do the whole um, process I will just show you the steps and then you can continue from there so agree agree and here select the disk where you want to install OS 10 so I've got Yosemite installed on the iMac uh, internal drive and we want to install it right over here so once we press install it will start uh, the, pre the process of installing and from now on all we have to do uh, is follow the steps and by the end you will have uh, a clean installation on your uh, external hard drive and from there all you need to do uh, is go to the uh, to the options which I will I will show you uh, in just a few seconds uh, the options to select your boot drive and you are ready to go with the clean installation of your OS 10 uh, if I press install just to yeah, it will ask me to sign in on the Apple and to download which will take uh, a lot of time so we will not go through that but just to mention that <clears throat> all we need to do from now on is to follow the steps and that will be it so let's restart the machine and do the, cl the cloning process uh, right now okay and we are back on the iMac screen and if you followed the clean installation uh, all you need to do now you will have two installations of course you will have 
on the internal hard drive and also on the storage at 500 and what you all what you need to do is go to the system preferences and from there you will need to choose the startup disk and in here you will see two disks in this particular case i didn't clone or i didn't install anything just to save time on the, this particular video so you will have two options here all you need to do is select your new external drive and then restart and once you do that by default your uh, external ssd will be um, the drive used to boot and then after that you can delete everything that you that you have on your uh, internal hard drive and use it for storage of course um, and uh, whatever you want to use the drive for but uh, there's a lot of space that can be used right over there now this first chapter which is the clean installation it's now over any questions that you still have just let me do let me know down below in the comment section and let's go for the cloning uh, process okay so regarding the cloning process uh, let's assume that you have all your system clean up and everything is okay all you want is a fast way to get everything on your external hard drive um, preferably a ssd now there are as i mentioned on a preview on the beginning of the video there are several ways and there are a lot of softwares that you can use but my favorite is carbon copy cloner uh, just browse around on google or search around on google and you will find it i'm using the uh, trial version which you can also use so you don't need to, to purchase it but if you if you prefer to to purchase it, just go ahead it is a great software uh, and that is it so what we are going to do here this is very basic just like the source which is going to be my main um, hard drive and there's also other options if you have an image for example uh, or from a remote Macintosh that you have on your uh, network but for this uh, tutorial just the basic we will use our internal hard drive destination we want the storage at 500 uh, and leave everything uh, by default and what I want to do now is press clone and what carbon copy cloner will do is an exact copy ready to boot for of my main hard drive on the storage at 500 um, thunderbolt ssd on this particular case but you can also use as i mentioned on the previous videos for os 10 you can also use a, a solution as usb 3.0 so this is going to take a while as you can see there are uh, especially when we are copying from a slow drive to a fast drive there are no miracles but that being said this is going to take a while and i will be back as soon as this process is all finished so we can see uh, the final result and here we are back on the screen so the cloning process took roughly uh, 49 well almost one hour uh, copying all the files from the uh, original hard drive to the store jet 500 in this particular case and now if we go to our system preferences we will see on the startup, startup disk uh, two options one is the iMac and the other one is the uh, storage at 500 which has exactly the same file so everything that we had on our internal hard drive is now on the external hard drive which in this particular case once again is the storage at, storage at 500 so i'm going to close this and what we are going to do is shut down this computer just to see if everything is fine so shutting down now we are going to turn it on back again and press the option key and this is not necessary i could just restart it on uh, on the startup disk options but i just want to make sure that we have everything okay so i'm going to boot right from here and let's see with the thunderbolt drive and as you can see uh, the timing is totally different from what we have on our internal hard drive and here we are on the screen so now uh, and let me just turn the recording on on the screen just because i cannot record when the screen is down uh, so now uh, we have everything uh, exactly the same as we had but we don't see the storage at 500 uh, right over here anymore and that's because it's um, our um, our storage 
for that we are using for boot. Uh, so if we go here to storage, we have the storage at 500 as the main drive and the uh, iMac internal hard drive as the um, as the store just for storage. Uh, let's say just for storage. So we can see here that it selected our um, startup disk is the storage at 500 right now. And we can even go to disk utility. And we will see that we have still plenty of space to <laughs> work with. Bear in mind that I have a lot of applications installed. So um, in here on the internal hard drive. But this is it, guys. Don't want to waste much more of your time. As you could see, this is a very simple process to uh, to be able to have your um, boot drive as an external um, boot drive. And in this particular case, the uh, transcend. If you want to check out uh, the results, the timings that this um, hard drive can uh, can do uh, compared to the internal hard drive and also compared to other USB 3.0 uh, solutions. Don't forget to, to check out the other videos that I just make and I will try not to forget to post some links right over here uh, on the screen so that you can check them out. And that being said guys, hope that this video was helpful in some way and, and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.